In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create shake effects in After Effects with no plugins, no presets, nothing. Even as the creator of Shake Sauce 2, I don't wanna do any gatekeeping on how to create shake effects. I will show you how Shake Sauce 2 is better in this video, but if you watch this video all the way to the end, you're gonna be able to see how to create amazing shake effects with no plugins, no presets. But if you do wanna try out Shake Sauce 2, I'll have it linked down below with a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk-free. You can cancel at any time. But let's get into the video and show you how to create these amazing shake effects. So here inside of After Effects, you can see a beautiful Shake Sauce 2 here, but that's gonna be pushed aside for right now. I wanna show you how to create these effects without any presets, without any plugins. That way you can create it 100% for free. So inside of the effects and controls tab, if you search wiggle and drag on the wiggle position effect onto an adjustment layer. So we're gonna make an adjustment layer over our two clips and then drag on this effect. You can see we already kind of have a little bit of the shake and obviously this isn't what we want for the shake transition. So let's go ahead and customize it and make it our own. So let's go a few frames before the transition happens and keyframe the wiggle speed and also the amount, basically the frequency and amplitude. And let's go and make both of those zero and then go right to our transition on our clip and bring up the speed to look something like one and then maybe the amount pretty significantly. And then we can go a few frames forward past that and then bring those both back down to zero. So now we have a little bit of a shake transition. It, it doesn't look quite good yet, but hear me out, it'll come together. I know Shake Sauce 2 is a little bit easier to use, but we're gonna go ahead and make it look super saucy without it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and uncheck Use Composition Shutter and change the shutter angle to 180. That's gonna give it this beautiful motion blur just like this. And let's go ahead and see what our transition looks like. It's already looking a lot cleaner. As you can see here, we have these black bars. I'm gonna show you how to fix that too. So go ahead and drag on an effect called motion tile all the way to the top of this. And now we can go ahead and mirror the edges. And that's not gonna do anything until we change the output width and height to something around 200. And now when we play this, we have a nice shake transition. You can even get crazy with this and add on an effect like exposure and keyframe that at the peak to something like two. Go back a frame or two, change it to zero, and then go and change it to zero again. And that way we have a nice little flash with the shake, something really subtle like that. And we can even ease that to make it a look a little bit better. And just like that, we have a nice shake transition. Now, if you guys don't already know, I have a plugin called Shake Sauce 2 that makes adding shake insanely easy, way more customizable. And I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and apply shake transitions really, really simply. And like I said, I'll have a link to a seven day free trial link down below. That way you can try it out 100% risk-free. But inside of Shake Sauce, you can just hover over any of these presets. Let's go ahead and try out something a little bit more unique, like a, let's do the horizontal one. So you just click on it. So this green dot appears, and then you go right between your two clips and then go ahead and click this check mark. And then just like that, we have a nice horizontal kind of flash transition. And if you don't like that, you can go ahead and play around with all of the different transitions. If you select on this layer, you can go ahead and just replace the shake transition with a different one by clicking that button. And now you can see it will load a completely different one. You don't have to go through and delete it. It's a great way to test out different shakes without having to go ahead and re-keyframe stuff, really do a bunch of different steps. You can see just like that, we have a bunch of different really cool and unique shakes. And and they are all 100% customizable up here in the effects controls. So for example, if this was a little bit too intense for you, you could change that down. Say you wanted the brightness to be up a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. You can change the scale. There's just infinite possibilities inside of Shake Sauce. Just like that, we have a completely different shake preset. And inside of Shake Sauce, you can even make custom presets and save your own inside of there. That way you can go ahead and just have these presets at your disposal. So as you can see, we like the zoom one, but let's go ahead and change it a little bit. So if you click this pencil icon, it's gonna load up the shake in the background. And then we can go ahead inside of Shake Sauce. I like to press U on my keyboard so I can see the keyframes. But we, now we can go ahead and change it to our liking. So here we'll change down the amplitude a little bit. We'll make the rotation just a little bit less intense, but then let's go ahead and make the brightness itself a little bit more. So it's a little bit more of like, kind of like a twitch. And actually let's go ahead and turn up the frequency just a little bit. If you click on the slider, you can actually type in custom values as well. That's a little bit more of like a bounce one you can see you can really just instantly get different looks. It's really quite simple. And let's go ahead and bring up the motion blur on this one a little bit. And then when you have a preset that you like, you can go ahead right to the peak of the amplitude, set the center keyframe and then click save. And we can name this zoom flash. And then it's gonna go ahead and save it in the background. And then if you go to presets, 
you can see down here in the keyframe the zoom flash transition we just saved. So if we go ahead and delete it, we can go ahead and apply it. It's gonna load up here and you will see it on your layer, just like that. Like I said, I'll have that link down below. That way you can try it out 100% risk-free with a seven day free trial. It's by far the best shake in all of After Effects. But hopefully in this video, you learned how to make custom shakes regardless if you're using Shake Sauce 2 or not. If you got any value, be sure to drop a like on the video and be subscribed to the channel because I upload videos like this all the time. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.